What's up guys, Steven here and greetings here from my holiday in Italy. So actually I planned not to record any videos here, but something went terrible wrong. First of all, a huge sunburn all over my body and the second thing, I accidentally deleted the holiday pictures from the SD card of my um, Canon EOS70D and my girlfriend is pretty pissed and now I try to get them back. So they're not in the bin anymore, that's a huge problem, but um, there are some recovery softwares online and yeah, basically you can use them to recover things you can't find on your computer anymore. Because if you delete files, they are still on your computer and that actually means that um, they get overwritten after some time. So if you lost something like six months ago, the chances are pretty bad to get it back. But I just lost it half an hour ago, so I haven't done much on the computer, so I'm pretty sure that they're in a good condition on the hard drive or somewhere on the SD card. And in order to recover them, um, I basically used the Wondershare data recovery. I found it on the internet and 100 megabytes are free. So it's a little bit more than 100 megabytes, but um, yeah, let's see if I can recover that. There's also a premium version which has unlimited um, kind of storage or things to recover. Alright, so this is how the tool looks like. It works on Windows and it says that it also works with Android devices, but I have my iPhone here so I couldn't test it. But it's pretty cool that it works with all kinds of things. It can recover data from a USB drive, from your micro SD card or SD card, from the internal hard drive, as long as it's not physically damaged. That means dropped or like the hard drive crashed and it's not spinning anymore and those things like the chip on your memory is broken, then you can't recover it. So this is just a software solution and you can also do it without software, but it's kind of tricky and you have to be some kind of IT genius to do that. And this tool really saves some time. So this is how it looks like and now let's try it out together. So just answer two simple questions and we do the rest to recover. Okay, so that's a smart wizard for the noobs, but there's also some kind of yeah, um, advanced wizard or something like that. So I'll click here, don't show this on startup, but this is how it works. It will ask you what kind of files you want to recover. So we have here photos, mp3s, videos, so I think I also had some videos on there. So I will basically take here all type of files because um, let's see what we can recover. But um, you can also recover here emails, office documents, whatever you want. And it's good to tell the program what you're looking for because then it don't take so much time to recover all that. So we'll now go here to next, to next step. And now the program asks us, where did you lose your files? This is also something which is important, otherwise it will take ages. So, oh, there's a train going by in the background, so please don't mind that. We are living here in five-star room, not just joking, YouTuber lifestyle. Pretty much a crap room. But anyway, in a specified location, so we're now browsing here for my um, yeah, SD card, which is the EOS Digital. And it's good to tell the program where you lost the files, because then it does not take so long and yeah, it really saves a lot of time. But you can also press I can't remember and you can scan the whole computer and then you will see all the things maybe your girlfriend has deleted, your father has deleted, so it can be kinda funny. Alright, so in a specified location on cheat and there we go. Now it will ask you enable deep scan. So this is not needed in my case because I'm just looking for files I've moved into the trash accidentally 30 minutes ago. If you're looking for something specified which you lost like a week ago or something or some files which are older, I would click deep scan. Okay, um, let's press start to recover and let's see what this program here can do. Alright, so 11 gigabytes in 172 files. So, Alright, that's a really lot because it's a 32 gigabyte SD card. And you can see here graphics, that means there are JPEGs in there and CR2 raw files. Okay, um, also here you can see the condition, so I can maybe make this here a little bit bigger for you guys. Hopefully the webcam doesn't cover it, but yeah, let's do it this way. Um, you can see here the status, and we have here poor, that's kind of bad to recover, bad is almost broken, and there's also no preview on there. So um, let's check out the JPEGs, because the files I lost were actually JPEGs, and they should be in a good condition, because I lost them not long ago. You can also, oh my, my SD card has some serious problem that why I deleted all the files there. So you can also check out the folder where you lost them and here the file size. This is also kind of important and let's check out if I can see the preview here. Okay, it says good but no preview available. Alright. So, okay, I can't show you a preview right now, but I will tr just try to recover them. And to do that, I will press here, recover, but you don't have to tick all the files because I can see there's still some old crap there. 
but the latest things I want to recover are actually the pictures here until yeah 919 until this one I deleted everything but as you can see there are still all the files also there some are green some are red and that means some are basically able to recover some not and I will quickly do that so let's hit the recover button and now select the path to save the recovered files oh that is decal is really broken all right so we'll go here to my computer I will save it on C and yeah let's do it here on C in a new folder and there we go, recovery failed due to unavailable source drive. All right, so I have a problem here with my SD card. I just have to reinsert it. So as you can see, my SD card is also kind of broken. All right, it's now here. Okay, that's good. And recover on C in a new folder. And there we go, files recovered. Hopefully um, it actually does that before the SD card cracks up again. Definitely need to get a new one. And yeah, um, actually pretty fast, so around 3 to 4 files per second. And I will just wait until it's finished and catch you in a second. Alright guys, so the recovery process is finished, but I had to restart it 4 times because the SD card lost somehow contact and it popped up again, storage lost. Anyway, there are some files failed to recover. Um, I'll now press OK and it takes me to the folder where it copied all the things to. And as you can see, it recovered my picture, so that's pretty awesome. Still, there are some raw files or something I've actually not had on my camera, or maybe some old files. Anyway, they are not opening up, at least with even view. Um, but yeah, as you can see, pictures are there. Um, we're here in Cinque Terre in Italy, and it's pretty awesome. Just check this out, guys. Would be really a pain if I lost all the pictures. Anyway, um, this tool is really great, it saves you a lot of time, for sure you can do it without the tool, but I have no clue in which folders I should actually search for all that. And yeah, um, as you can see it works, but the free version only works up to 100 megabytes. So if you have some files which are bigger than that, you have to buy the premium version. And if there's physical damage to your hard drive, USB drive or whatever, this software can't recover it. So this is really important. If your hard drive crashed and you have to give it to some professional service, they will take it apart and maybe fix it. But this is super, super expensive. Anyway, this software is really awesome. You can find the link down below and you can try it, give it a try. So if you can get your files back because 100 megabytes are free. So I hope this video was helpful. So please like it, comment this video and also subscribe that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day and bye bye.